Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rob. I am a four-time thriller author as well as a sports writer that can currently be seen on Clutch Points. Now today's video is going to cover betting specials as seen on FanDuel for the San Francisco 49ers for the 2023 season. With that being said, let's get started. Now as you see on the screen, the most obvious bet is Nick Bosa to record 15 plus sacks in the regular season. And the reason why this is a very favorable bet is because Bosa has had 18 and a half sacks last season, and he had 15 and a half sacks in 2021. So when you keep in mind the fact that he has stayed healthy three of his last four seasons, this is a good bet to make. Now, if you're afraid he's going to get hurt, I would probably put a small bet on it. But keep in mind, once he does hit that, you'll be doubting yourself. So Bosa is almost assured to get this, assuming he stays healthy. 49ers have scored one plus touchdown in every regular season game. Now, when you think about it, 49ers have... Christian McCaffrey running the ball. They have Elijah Mac Mitchell backing him up. George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, all catching passes from either Trey Lance or Brock Purdy. I would make this bet. Plus one touchdown in every regular season game. 49ers to beat the Seahawks on the road and at home in the regular season. Now, if you've been watching the 49ers as long as I have, then you know that the 49ers rarely sweep the Seahawks. What happened last season does not happen. In fact, it's only happened two times in the last 15 years. So I'd be pretty cautious, and I wouldn't make this bet because of the fact that the Seahawks got better throughout in the offseason. I mean, I think they're going to steal a game from the 49ers either at Lumen Field at home or they're going to steal it at Levi Stadium. 49ers to reach the NFC Championship game. The only thing that can stop that from happening is injuries or if their opponents get the jump on them. The 49ers will have games against the NFC East, which includes slates against the Dallas Cowboys and New York Giants at home. They'll also have to travel to the Philadelphia Eagles Stadium in Lincoln Financial Field in December. They also will open the season against the Steelers in Pittsburgh. They also have games in Cleveland against the Browns, and they host the Baltimore Ravens and Cincinnati Bengals. That's not an easy schedule, so there's going to be a lot of obstacles in a way before the 49ers can even think about getting back to the NFC Championship game. Do they have a good chance? Yes. What has to happen? They have to execute on their plays, and everything has to go right. Uh, Brock Purdy is not throwing 30-plus touchdowns. Last season, he had 13 touchdowns in eight, in eight games. Multiply that by two, and he still gets 26 touchdowns. We don't even know if he's healthy yet, so I'm probably not thinking Brock Purdy's going to uh, throw 30-plus touchdowns. Christian McCaffrey, well, McCaffrey can get 10-plus rushing touchdowns. The only problem with that is I think the 49ers are going to try and give Elijah Mitchell a lot of opportunities, so that's going to take away touchdowns from McCaffrey. But I do think he's going to get 10 overall touchdowns. It's probably going to come in the form of like 7 rushing touchdowns and 3 receiving touchdowns. 49ers are going to probably design plays where they throw the bottom of McCaffrey like they did last year, and that's going to give them opportunities to catch touchdowns in the end zone instead of running it into the end zone. Uh, I already went over this. I don't think the 49ers are going to go undefeated in the NFC West. I do think Debo Samuel will not get 10-plus receiving touchdowns. Debo is not that guy. Debo is the type of guy that likes to do yak, yards after catch. He'll catch the ball at the 30 and take it all the way down to the 7, but he's not going to be the guy that scores 10-plus receiving touchdowns. So I wouldn't make a bet personally on this. Uh, same for Brock Purdy. He's not a rushing quarterback. So he'll probably get two or three rushing touchdowns, but he's not going to get, like, five. Now here is the ticker that I think is interesting. 49ers are one-plus passing touchdown in every game, and one-plus rushing touchdowns are the two highest odds. Now, when you have weapons like Kittle, Ayuk, Samuel, all catching passes, this bet is very likely to happen. So I don't know how the odds are 1,600 to 1. I would make a bet on one of these personally. Um, the 49ers are likely going to score a touchdown, at least a rushing touchdown, in every game. The only thing, again, that can go wrong is if weather elements play a role. But I do think either one of these bets would be a good bet. So... That concludes the 49ers betting specials on FanDuel. What do you think? Do you think the 49ers are going to hit any of these bets? And if so, which bets do you think they're going to hit? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, and have a great day.